of the condenser. Probably have an old radio. Where's that noise coming from? Uh, the road. The Cambridge picture from the original in Archaeological Museum. Oh wow. There's something else. Syrup of figs. Successes to the Californian uh, fig syrup company. There's some nice pieces here, some nice little bottles. All screw top, I think, but there you go. Is there a uh, pathway across here? No. What, no? No footpath, no. It's a bigger than it. It would have been plain. Shippums. Shippums. Little bit of blue and white. Little milk jar. Another capacitor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's have a look. And it's Oh. That's a bit spooky. No. <laughs> a 
you see. Ropes. Well, there's certainly some rubbish here, yeah. and I can see this going right the way back. I mean, look at that big, huge mound up there. Yeah, we might have to come back here another day, I think. Yeah. And have a little look, because I think we could if we disappeared up there. Light bulb. It's broken. Ready? The whole one, isn't it? That's ceramic. Is it? I'll be careful with that then. Yeah. It is. This is a ceramic and glass along here, look. Yeah, I'll sit as I was walking up. Yeah. What you got there? Ooh, swag. I'm gonna have to put it in the bag. Oh, yeah. 
What was that? Was that a pot lid you found? Or? I think. Let's have a look. It's last yeah. few. Yeah, I say that's. Plus. What? Bottles. Bits of pottery. I think that's our favourite uh, find. Oh god, yeah. Look at the eyes. <laughs> that's a cupid or something. Yeah, nice. The body broke, yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. Really? Not bashed? It's not bashed or anything? A bead. Little bottle there. Little bovril. Oh, look at it. I can't. Right. Hold on. Let's come in a bit. Right. Oh. Oh, it's got a chip out the top. So we don't want the bottle well, then. What do you think? Well, we've got one this size. Uh, yeah. One ounce. I'm sure we have, but we'll let's keep it for now in case All we right, have Alright, okay. Just, so if you come in here, there's bits all over there. Behind me. Look. And all the way, oh, what's that? Improved. All right, I'm gonna get out. Andy, look in here, see if I can. I mean, you can see it all, look down the side. Yeah. Yeah, the plow sort of done its work and Broke it up. Yeah, there's broken milk glass. Yeah. There's definitely poison bottles in there. Let's just quickly go across here. All sorts of broken glass and pottery in here. whole embankment is rubbish all the way along. It seems to go back a long way. Yeah, let's have a look. 
but look, half a bead. No. You never find any beads. No. Let's have a look at the other. Let's have a look at the rest of it. Look, and I found that. I thought that was a head. It's not. No. Big, thick, chunky old handle. That's outside the dump, not within the dump. That's spillage. This whole area from where we got in down there, just along there, all the way up. Up to the bend, just up there, is one massive tip. It's, it's got a ditch on three sides, full of water. So it's, uh, it doesn't look like it's ever been touched. Uh, I, d I don't think it's Victorian Edwardian. I think it's a little bit later than that. Earlier. No, later, sorry. Uh, maybe 40s, 50s, 60s. But it's absolutely dense. Is, is down there. It's absolutely massive really. Fig. A uh, bottle. Don't really date the year. But I know it's between 1913 and 1960. Uh, uh, been slightly warped, so it's been heated. Uh, it's actually a Cali Fig, which is the successor to the Californian Fig Syrup uh, Company. Long history. Started off in America. Very hard to put the exact year on this uh, bottle. There's a little bit of a code on the bottom, but I can't find no information for it. There we go. It's very nice. Another uh, bottle, no identification on it at all. Uh, I think it may be a Fanta bottle. If anybody knows uh, differently, please let me know. A good nick, probably from the 60s, and uh, can't really say much about it. I think we know what this is. This is a Pepsi Cola bottle. Uh, six fluid ounces, or is it five? No, six uh, fluid ounces. Uh, it's got no coding on the bottom whatsoever, but I do believe it's. Uh, could be late 60s, early 70s. Uh, about all what I can say. We all know the company, I'm sure. Two items there that go together quite nicely, but they're not meant to go together. That's a little uh, milk glass jar. Nothing on the air bottom. Can't really get it any cleaner than that. Which is that annoying because like we do like to collect these. And a pa a panyan stoneware lid. Don't see too many of these. So which is uh, nice. Uh, first one of them we've found. And that sort of fits on there. <laughs> so that's uh, another two items for the collection. This is the pottery of the day. 
can see various bits of uh, blue and white. Some of it's got no age uh, to it. I don't think that's very old. Uh, I'm sure what that is to be honest. I don't think it's a uh, salt glaze. Could be wrong. That's a nice piece. Don't think any of that is spurred or anything. Mm. That has got to be off a flagon, isn't it? Do you think that says improved beer or something like that? Mm. It's a fair old chunk, I must say. This little one, I, I presume, some sort of a measuring pot. Whoops. Table spoons. Normally see that on uh, on bottles, don't we? And a little bit of willow uh, pattern there. And this old stoneware, battered and bruised. Jar, probably paste to be honest. It'll probably come with a nice lid. Uh, don't find too many of them. So that's the assortment for today. Bit of a mixed bag, really. Uh, some bits are uh, useful. So uh, put them in the uh, shirt collection. And I think this is our fine. For the day, a little baby. Porcelain. Very delicate. But, is it a she? Is it a he? Whatever. It survived. It survived the tip. And it's uh, very precious. Uh, can't. Can't get the face no uh, cleaner at the uh, moment. I don't want to rub, scour, use anything abrasive. So take them rosy cheeks away. So I love the eyes. <laughs> the way they're just sort of looking partially to the left and partially down. Or maybe completely down. I love to know the uh, year. There's no uh, markings. You can see that the arms probably just uh, not sure how they've come out. I, they was held in like with a ridge on ceramic arms. I'm sure this would have broke before the arms. So uh, I'd like to know that. Anybody knows. But he, she, let's call her she. Could be a he though. I, I really don't know. I don't want to call it it. So let's call it she for now. She is a little treasure. And uh, it's got to be our best old find. And to have her. I call her complete. Even though she's not. There we go. Complete now. Uh -huh. Yeah, we love her. And uh, pride of place. Pride of place. And... For our last uh, find that we're going to show today is Cindy. Uh, Julie informs me it's her uh, Cindy. She used to have one, more than one I think. So, not sure how old this one is. She's badly damaged. Uh, back of her head is burnt and her hair is gone. But We'll keep that a secret. But uh, another dirty face. <laughs> uh, I like her. Julie don't know I like her. She thinks she's spooky. Uh, but I quite like her. So uh, that's our fine number two. Plastic, of course. But I don't think it matters. I really don't. Poor old Cindy, eh? This was a nice little find made by w William Henry uh, Goss. He was an English potter and he developed the uh, souvenir trade with his Goss in
crested uh, china. He made the pieces from 1858 to 1939 and the crest is where it was sold. So this particular one was sold in Wandsworth in London. Its age is a little bit, a uh, bit of a span on it. I can calculate it's from 1887 to 1916. various um, ways you can age it but not exactly to the year so very nice indeed